Genghis Khan, the founder of the Mongol Empire, controlled the largest contiguous empire in history? Born as Temujin in the early 12th century, Genghis Khan's early life was fraught with hardship and turmoil. He was born into a nomadic Mongolian tribe known as the Borjigans, under the shadow of the Altai Mountains. The Mongols were not a unified people, but rather a collection of tribes, constantly at odds with each other over resources and power. Temujin's life took a dramatic turn when his father, a minor tribal chieftain, was poisoned by a rival tribe. Suddenly orphaned, Temujin, his mother and his siblings were cast out by their own tribe, left to fend for themselves in the harsh Mongolian wilderness. This harsh expulsion from his tribe formed the crucible in which the future Genghis Khan was forged. Against all odds, Temujin survived. His early experiences ignited in him a deep desire for power and a dream of uniting the Mongolian tribes under a single banner. Mongolia in the 12th century was a harsh and unforgiving place, characterized by tribal feuds and power struggles. It was in this chaotic environment that Temujin began his ascent to power. Through a combination of strategic alliances, military brilliance, and sheer force of will, he started to bring the disparate Mongolian tribes under his control. In 1206, a gathering of Mongolian chieftains bestowed upon Temujin the title of Genghis Khan, meaning universal ruler. This marked the beginning of the Mongol Empire, an empire that would grow to become the largest contiguous land empire in the world. Genghis Khan's story is a testament to the indomitable human spirit. It's a tale of survival, ambition, and power. It's a story of a boy, born in the unforgiving wilderness of Mongolia, who rose to become one of the most powerful rulers in history. From an outcast to the ruler of the largest empire, Genghis Khan's journey was nothing short of extraordinary. Genghis Khan, a name synonymous with power and conquest, led the Mongol Empire to its zenith. Emerging from the unforgiving landscapes of the Mongolian steppes, Genghis Khan, born as Temujin, rose from an outcast to the revered Khan of all Khans. His rise to power was marked by an amalgamation of brilliant military strategies and shrewd diplomatic tactics that would forever change the course of history. Genghis Khan's military prowess was unparalleled. His strategies were innovative and tactics adaptable. He utilized the swift mobility of his horsemen, the famed Mongol archers, to outmaneuver and outflank his enemies. The devastating efficiency of his army could be seen in the major victories at the battles of Khwarazm and Nishapur, where his forces decimated the opposition, leaving in their wake a trail of destruction and conquest. But Genghis Khan wasn't just a military genius, he was also a master of diplomacy. He knew when to wield the sword and when to extend the olive branch. He established diplomatic relations with neighboring nations, creating a network of alliances that would often provide him with necessary support during his campaigns. His conquests stretched from the Pacific Ocean to the heart of Europe, expanding the Mongol Empire across Asia, Europe, and Africa. The territories conquered were vast and diverse, from the scorching sands of the Middle East to the cold, unforgiving terrains of Siberia, Genghis Khan's influence was widespread. The Mongol Empire, under his rule, was a tapestry of different cultures, traditions, and people unified under one banner. Genghis Khan's rise was not just about conquest and expansion, it was about the establishment of a global power that influenced trade, culture, and diplomacy. The Mongol Empire was not just an empire, it was a global phenomenon that marked a significant epoch in world history. The Mongol Empire under Genghis Khan was a force to be reckoned with, but how long would this last? Every empire has its peak, and every peak has its fall, so was the fate of the Mongol Empire. The Mongol Empire, once the largest contiguous empire in history, began to unravel after the death of its great leader, Genghis Khan. His passing in the year 1227 left a power vacuum that sparked a series of succession disputes among his sons and grandsons. This internal strife, a result of Genghis Khan's failure to establish a clear line of succession, was a significant factor in the empire's decline. The empire was also mired in political instability, Genghis Khan had built an empire based on meritocracy, but his successors, swayed by personal ambitions and rivalries, often disregarded this principle. As a result, the political and social structures of the Mongol Empire, once a shining beacon of order and efficiency, began to crumble. Furthermore, the Mongols, renowned for their military prowess, started to experience defeats. Their invincibility was shattered at the Battle of Einjalut in 1260, where the Mamluks of Egypt handed them their first significant defeat. 
This loss marked the beginning of the end for Mongol domination. The Mongols also faced resistance from those they had conquered. Rebellions sprouted like wildfire across the empire, exhausting its military resources. The Mongols' brutal tactics of war, which once instilled fear, were now fueling the flames of rebellion. Moreover, the empire's vastness became its own nemesis. Governing such a large territory proved to be an insurmountable challenge. The Mongols struggled to maintain control over their diverse subjects, leading to a gradual fragmentation of the empire into independent khanates. By the end of the 14th century, the Mongol Empire was but a fraction of its former glory. The once mighty empire that stretched from the Pacific Ocean to Eastern Europe was now fragmented, its power diminished, its influence waning. The once mighty Mongol Empire was now a shadow of its former self. The legacy of Genghis Khan and his empire is as vast as the territories they once conquered. In the grand tapestry of history, the Mongol Empire under the leadership of Genghis Khan left a profound and lasting impact. This influence, however, is not just limited to the geographical boundaries they once dominated, but also permeates the very fabric of our culture, trade, warfare, and politics. Let's begin with culture. The Mongol Empire, a melting pot of diverse cultures and traditions, promoted an exchange of ideas and knowledge. They were the catalyst in the spread of many cultural elements, from art to cuisine, from Asia to the Middle East and Europe. Their capital, Karakorum, was a testament to this cultural osmosis, showcasing an eclectic mix of architectural styles. Moving on to trade, the Mongol Empire played a significant role in establishing and expanding the Silk Road trade routes. Their reign brought about an unprecedented era of peace and stability, known as Pax Mongolica, fostering the growth of trade and commerce, and facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and innovations. In terms of warfare, Genghis Khan revolutionized it with his innovative strategies and tactics. The Mongol military was a formidable force that introduced the world to a new style of warfare, characterized by speed, mobility, and surprise attacks. Their use of psychological warfare and their efficient communication systems were ahead of their time, and these strategies continue to influence modern military doctrines. Lastly, in politics, the Mongol Empire's administrative systems were groundbreaking. Genghis Khan's Yasa, a code of laws, laid the foundation for governance based on merit rather than birthright. This principle of meritocracy influenced many subsequent empires and continues to be an ideal in contemporary societies. The echoes of the Mongol Empire of Genghis Khan's rule can still be heard today. From our globalized culture to our interconnected economies, from our methods of warfare to our political systems, the legacy of the Mongol Empire is deeply woven into the world's history. Genghis Khan and the Mongol Empire left an indelible mark on history, shaping the world as we know it today.